Yo, what is up? This is the Polish Tier 5 medium tank, the DSPZINZ, or we'll just call it the Despinis. <laughs> right? It's pretty easy. I think a lot of people are going to call it that as well. But this has been released into the Super Test Wild. This thing is almost live. I wasn't kidding when I say this tank could be out in two or three weeks. If you are here for the first time, consider subscribing, giving this video a like. I do appreciate it very much and this helps support my channel. And let me thank you for leaving a comment below as well because Wargaming do pay attention to Pay, pay attention to your comments they scour the internet looking for your opinions so leave a comment it's very important uh, let's compare this tank with the two tanks that are the most important tier fives i believe anyway in uh in tier five medium tanks anyway the t34 starting with the t34 the despinas has the same um hp has the t34 engine power a lot more engine power 585 versus 500 uh, it has the same kind of forward speed less reverse speed than a t34 but it has a, a greater power to weight ratio 18.61 versus a t34 of 17.01 um, the traverse speed of the hull 39 degrees per second versus the t34 41 degrees per second uh, what you are looking at is more power to weight ratio suggests that it is a little bit more nimble but um, the traverse speed is maybe slightly slower now as you can see the, from the renders this thing has been colored in already so we are getting closer and closer to that day when it will be released armor kind of like a similar kind of armor profile as the t3485 a reload time also almost the same 5.5 seconds uh, damage however 135 versus the 115 you're doing 20 more damage out of this tank than a t34 penetration standard ap shells 135 and the apcr premium shells 175 you are talking better penetration both on the standard and the premium shells gun depression just about the same eight degrees of sorry uh, eight degrees of gun depression uh less uh upward this uh, upward depression shell velocity 925 a lot better for the standard shells right in time as well two seconds a lot better than the t34 gun dispersion the dispersion 0.37 also again suggesting a lot better gun performance than a t34 the turret rotation dispersion and the moving dispersion as well a lot better than the t34 so what you're looking at is a tank that is going to perform a lot better than a t34 that is my opinion uh, mobility wise almost the same as a t34 but gun handling um uh, gun handling damage penetration a lot better than the t34 now remember t34 is kind of like a good standard it, everybody knows this tank everybody had to go through it it is a pretty good tank uh, i'm not kidding uh, but the despinas seems like a uh, even better tank and even the model is really nice i really like the way the turret looks i really like the way the the hull looks the hull looks like a t34 uh, the turret looks like an aerodynamic version of a t34 really nice now we are going to compare it with a less popular tank the pz34 nobody knows well not a lot of people know this but the pz34 is actually a really good seal clubber not a lot of people collect this tank or go through this tank because it didn't really lead to anywhere significant most most people took the other tank you know not this tank but this is the tank you want if you want a seal club the pz34 you can see immediately the most mobility in terms of mobility it's a lot better than despinas uh even though it has the same forward speed and kind of like same reverse speed but the power to weight ratio is insane on the pz34 um also you're know, talking about 80 millimeters hull armor frontally turret armor uh, similar to the despinas but the hull armor a lot better reload time 3.84 seconds this thing is an incredible pew pew gun damage however uh, only 110 um, even less than the t34 but considering that it reloads in 3.84 seconds you are talking 
um, much better DPM. You are looking now at the turret. I'm not sure if this is the beginner turret or this is the late turret, uh, but it seems like this could be one of the turret options, a more of a squared off version instead of the aerodynamic version. This is kind of like a flat side um, of the turret. Maybe this is the upgraded Despines, uh, fully upgraded, I'm not too sure. Um, but let's continue with the comparison with the PZ34. Um, gun depression on the PZ34 is 10 degrees, better than the Despines. Um, shell velocity slightly slower, but uh, you are talking about a gun again that reloads under 4 seconds. It is a pew pew gun. Uh, I believe that the PZ34 will outperform the uh, DSPZ, uh, but we will see when the, this tank goes live. Uh, dispersion, a similar dispersion as the uh, PZ34, they both share similar dispersion. Uh, slightly better when the uh, gun is rotating or the tank is uh, moving. Um, but you're talking about similar dispersions here, similar, uh, a lot of things that are similar with the PZ in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of um, speed, mobility, um, but the PZ is going to shoot a lot quicker than this gun. So uh, I think we can conclude that the DSPZ or the Despines is going to outperform a T-34 or uh, a Soviet T-34 or a Chinese T-34 for that matter. But um, I think the king of the SEAL clubbers in Tier 5 is the PZ-34, the German medium tank. So to beat that might be a little bit, um, a, a little bit too much for the DSPZ. Uh, but I feel that this tank in Tier 5 is going to come out to be pretty strong tank so um, if you are looking to collect tanks and to keep tanks that are uh, like you're gonna play with them later on you're gonna you know revisit after you've done grinding the tier 5 and moved on to the tier 6s or tier 7s I think this might be a tank you might want to keep uh, because it does sound like this tank could be quite a bit of fun you're gonna have um, mobility like a t34 but you're gonna have a much better penetrating gun a much better damaging gun a better aim time the t34 is horrible at aiming right so this thing is gonna do better at aiming penetrating and damage tell me what you think leave a comment in the comment section below uh, this is uh this is important because I'm pretty sure Wargaming pays attention uh, to comments that are left on uh, videos. They want to know what people think about the direction that they are going on certain models of tanks or a certain tech tree. So your opinion, uh, don't think of it as unimportant. It is important, I believe so anyway. Um, leave a comment section below. Tell Tell me what you think. Uh, I will do my best uh, to highlight these comments and pass them on to the relevant authorities. If I could, i bring attention to them. Um, but uh, my final conclusion uh, from what I see so far, I think I like this tank because I like the way it looks. Number one, I like, I like the stats, what it says it performs. I think this might be a keeper. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.